Nach, nach hohen Arm mit Schiffer. Mach das. Mach das. Let it be 22. Turn the years, let it be 22. Now it's not the moment. Thanks to God, Sunday, Air of Sickness. 5601 5601 year 5601 Blessed, my dear beloved son, I received your letter today in the middle of the morning prayers and I was pleased, may God let us rejoice in the joy of the coming holy festival then through this joy may he send a complete recovery to your wife may she live because joy is a cure for illness of all kinds God save us, I very much long to fulfill your wish which is also my wish, and write you, and write you words of truth on the order of the day. But I, am, I, I, but I am extremely busy, and I have still not put on my Rabbeinu Tom's fillin, nor have the wings of the silka been raised yet. Your desire, though, compels me to write you a little of what I said yesterday at the third meal about how the whole idea of silka and the holy four species relate to the completion and publication of the holy books of the true Siddiqui Minam generation. These books serve to complete the Torah, which is just what we are engaged at this time, when we complete our yearly reading of the Torah on Shemini Yatseris and Simchas Torah. These holidays also constitute the culmination of the Tikkun, rectification accomplished by Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur as explained in the Kavanis. The entire commandment of the four species is performed by the hands, in order that the hands of Smicha, by which the rabbis and is ordained, should illuminate the hands which write in Jewish scripts, and particularly which write books of the Holy Torah. In this way, the seed of wisdom of each person is opened up, so as to instill in his heart, so as to instill in his heart, his heart, his heart, the knowledge of the Holy Faith, until every creature shall know that you created him. This is why we say this is why we say after taking the four species in order that all the peoples of the world may know that the Lord is God. The holy movements made with four species parallel the movements that the quill of a pen makes in the air, as is discussed in the lesson Rabbi Shimon Rejoice, to which I am studying right now. The three species which surround the Lula with which, which surround the Lula parallel the three fingers which grasp the quill, discussed in the Tikunizor, so as to complete the writing of the Torah which were Two tablets of stone written by the finger of God. Related to this is the statement. Re related to this is the statement in the Tikkun Ezra. If you read, which is a pen, you split the sea of the Torah. As this is meant to inform all the world's inhabitants, the mighty deeds, miracles, the mighty deeds, miracles and kindnesses that God does with us in every generation by sending us true tzaddikim such as these, who reveal such awesome and wondrous Torah teachings. Thus is it, thus is affected the continued existence and fulfillment of the Torah to which God's divinity is revealed. This is the idea of the Sukkah, the clouds of glory, which, want, which went before the Jews when they were traveling in the desert, while the ark with the tablets of stone was in front of them. This is the way that a Jew must travel whether he goes far or near, or even within his own city when he travels for business and livelihood, for example, to the post office. The Yitzchak was the postmaster in Tulchin. His intention must be to make money in order to give charity and to be one of those who support the Torah and who are engaged in the publication of holy books. He must also go out with the intention of perhaps meeting some person to whom he can talk about the Tachlis, the true goal, and whom he can tell about the true original Torah revelation, and whom he can talk and whom he can tell about the true. Original Torah revelations of the true tzaddikim of the generation. There is much more to say about this. In this way, a person can attain joy, as in the light of tzaddikim will bring joy, which is bound up with the time of our joy, i.e., Sukkot. The pinnacle and completion of our joy is on Simchas Torah, when the reading of the Torah is concluded. Then every person takes the Torah scroll in his arms and rejoices over it and over the share that he has in completing it, as is talked about above. Set your mind to understanding all this well. And talk about the uh, and talk about this and talk about it. This coming holy festival. Remember what I said about this about this this past Rosh Hashanah. And really fortify yourself to be happy over your share and all of it. Join God is your strength. Until He looks down from heaven and sees, and we merit to bring what we what we desire from potential to actual. This is what God truly wants. Let us be happy and rejoice in His salvation. Meanwhile, thank God they have put up the wings of the sukkah, and I just now saw the fine esrit. Thank God all is well. God is righteous, my rock, in whom there is no injustice. 
Would that we might also be called righteous? Would that we might also be called righteous? For the same, for the, for the time being, though, we are happy that we attach ourselves to tzaddikim and to the righteous, the upright of heart, with whom joy resides. The words of one writing in a great hurry and, as always, through God's salvation. Thus, in the best live, greetings to all our comrades with a great eternal love. This was meant for all of them, and for anyone who desires to hear words of truth. Letter 323, with God's help, Sunday, Lech 5601. My dear beloved son, may his light shine, I received your letter. It really uplifted, it really uplifted me to read that you are studying the book, and, and particularly that you are inspiring yourself with what is written there in the lessons held the Kahane on the subject of charity. The study must lead to practice, especially when it comes to the Rebbe's holy books, which are full of good practices and, and advice. You also reminded me, my dear son, that over this last festival I inspired myself a great deal with the opening part of the same lesson. It is written after the prayers that Sadiq's main weapon <clears throat> and all the battles that we fight, that we that he will fight, and all the conquests that he will make will be through prayer. You also reminded me of what I wrote and said about this, and it is, and it is stated in the Kutta Aitzis as well, that for every single Jew the main weapon of war is prayer. I spoke a little about this with our comrades then, and now too I am inspiring myself with this. For any holy and awesome statement that the Rebbe of blessed memory makes about any matter has a unique power to arouse and to fortify the Jewish heart. Has a unique power to arouse and to fortify the Jewish heart to engage in this matter. A person who really takes to heart the fact that his main weapon is prayer is awakened anew to engage in this. And even if I do not have enough strength to make war, I am at any rate comparable to a simple soldier. He also takes a weapon for the king's house and must learn battle tactics and the like every day. All through the power of the king and his ministers who teach him, no matter what, I know that the war is difficult and long, and the only weapon I have is the speech of my mouth, and even with this is by God's salvation and, enorm and enormous wonders. I cannot express to you in this context how very strongly I told, I hold this conviction. You too have to study this, to know all this and more. See the beginning of Makita Eitzes on this subject that I do not have time to go on right now. Yesterday at the third meal, God helped me to speak many words of Torah, which inspired us all very much. My son Yosef, Yo Yosef Yonah, may he live, is still very weak and is confined to bed. God save us. I have no idea what to do. Please urge all our comrades most strongly to pray for him. May God have compassion and send him and your daughter. May she live complete recovery, body and soul. Have mercy, have mercy. Save us, save us. Have mercy, have mercy. Save us, save us. Our only strength is in our mouths. Have mercy, have mercy. Save us, save us. Our only strength is in our mouths. As we said before, it is written, I am a worm, not a man. The sages of blessed memory commented, just as a worm's only strength is in its mouth, so Israel's only strength is in its mouth. Nonetheless, I fortify myself to trust in the salvation and to be happy over his kindness. The words of your father waiting for salvation, thus of the rest live, letter 324, with God's help, Wednesday, Lach 601. My dear beloved son, may he live. I received your letter just now. I have nothing new to tell you at the moment, and the deliverer of this letter is in a hurry. My son, may he live. Occasionally shows some improvement, but he is still weak. May God quickly grant him a complete recovery. I also received grapes. May God send him his cure through the word of God, through everything that he eats and drinks is in. He will bless your bread and water, and I will remove illness from your midst. From your midst. May God strengthen you and, and me to express ourselves before him with words of grace and truth. With words of grace and truth, so that he will hear our plea, save us, and quickly help us for his name's sake. The words of your father, Nelson of Breslov, the Blavelev from Brahilev, Brahilov, Brahilov, who was the son-in-law of Rabbi Yaakov, the son of the son-in-law of Yidu, is at my house now. He came here recently after not having been here for five years. Remember well what is happening in the world with every single person, what is taking place overall and with every single individual, all the time, what is taking place overall. No. Remember well what is happening in the world with every single person, what is taking place overall and with every single individual. All the time, every day, is a matter of no small significance. How great are God's deeds? Your thoughts are very deep. Letter 325, thanks to God, Sunday, Viero, 5601, greetings to my dear, beloved son. 
May he live and to his children, may they live. I received your letter just now. You really inspired me with when you wrote that you are engaged in studying the Rebbe's holy books. This is my reward for all my labor. May God continue to be with us. And may you merit to go on to fulfill all the words of his holy teachings. Last Shabbos, Shabbos, I spoke about the lesson, make a window for the ark. Thank God. And it was as if I were seeing it for the first time. The crucial, the crucial, the crucial thing there is that in the midst of the darkness, the person must draw himself toward the truth. This is especially true during prayer. When the darkness surrounds a person very, very much, a person must be extremely careful to make sure that he speaks the word sincerely. Then God will shine his light from it for him. Judging from what you wrote, you are just now up to this lesson. Please, my son, be sure to fulfill all this so that from amidst the darkness you will be able to grab some sincere, concentrated prayer. This tactic has been tried and checked thousands of times. Nonetheless, the evil one is constantly and fiercely attacking the tremendous darkness during every prayer service, and he surrounds the mind with countless distracting thoughts. A person must remember this strategy many times during every prayer, to turn his back to the darkness and distractions, and to try to say the word sincerely at his level. Then God will light up the openings for him until he sustains all the worlds with his prayers. Look, my son, and grow wise. See the difference that one moment can make for a person. Before, the darkness was surrounding him, but in a brief moment, when he drew himself to the truth, he merited to sustain all the words all the worlds, but in a brief moment when he drew himself to the truth, he merited to sustain all the worlds. This is the measure of a person, that all the worlds are dependent upon him at all times. The degree to which a person is, is, is assailed, though, is just without limit. But through the true tzaddikim, God has sent us the remedy in advance. Were it not for their power, the consequence, God forbid, would have occurred long ago. After God has informed us of all this, we, we ought to be looking deeply into our hearts. We ought to be looking deeply into, our, into their words and striving at all times to truly carry out what they say. How very, much of, how very much you gratify me with the good news that the brother of our friend of Yaakov, may his light shine, was set free. Similarly, may God allow him to be a truly free man by studying the Torah and truth. For no person is free except one who studies Torah. The words of your father, Nassim, the rest of letter 326, with God's help, Wednesday, Chai Sora 5601, to my dear, beloved son, and all his family, peace and life and everything good. I received your letter along with the five gold coins. May God have compassion on you, fortify you, and help you to engage in Torah prayers and good deeds all the days of your life. I'm extremely pleased with the way you are studying the Rebbe's holy books in order, from start to finish. This is your life forever. I long for you to study also regularly the, the explanations and novel that God has allowed me to make on the Rebbe's teachings, and most of all for you to go for you to go to, to go with them and pray about each lesson until you merit to keep to do and to fulfill it. Until you merit to keep, and most of all for you to go with them and pray about each lesson until you merit to keep to go and to fulfill it. To do and to fulfill it, to go. Until you merit to keep, to do and to fulfill it. This is the essential thing. So now it is good to thank God for the past and to fortify ourselves with joy over every single good point, especially that we have been privileged with such lights, such precious, holy cures, and such deep advice as this, with such lights, such precious, holy cures, and such deep advice as this. How can I tell you, my dear son, a thousand or a ten thousand or a ten thousand? Of what is in my heart about this. God willing, when you have studied these holy books a great deal along with my commentaries on them, and when you have prayed a great deal, I hope to God that He will open your heart to the Rebbe's teaching. Then in this world too, you will understand a small fraction of the Rebbe's greatness and the greatness of His holy teachings, by which in turn it is possible to understand the greatness of our Creator. In the future world, you will merit to understand even more. You are receiving a close to your letter of, a letter to Ikerman, Ikerman. A letter to Ikerman and you should send it in the appropriate manner. If you wish, you can also add your own greetings and write them some words from your heart so that you may receive from each other. For all the letters which, which, circ which circulate in the world from one person to another all have their roots in the holy letters which are exchanged between Jews, such as questions and answers involved, involving the laws and statutes of the Torah. This is particularly true of questions answers and discussions in the holy study regarding the practice of Torah wherein one, one Jew fortifies, strengthens, awakens and gives good advice to the heart of his friend, his students and, and so on. I also yearn very much to receive some news from Lvov. Therefore, if you have not yet received any information from there, be sure to write as you deem correct either to Rabbi Yaakov Hertz and Brody or to Lvov and ask him about it. At the very least, They ought to have acknowledged our letter if they received it. 
and have let us know what is going on there. Please do not be remiss about this business. It is a matter of incalc incalculable importance. May God begin it and then bring it to a good conclusion. Amen. May it be his will, the words of your father, not from the rest of May God send a full recovery to your wife, may she live, and may he guard her from doctors. Then it will be well with her, and she will have a complete recovery from heaven. We send greetings to all our comrades, and especially to my friend of Yaakov, may his light shine. Tell him that in place of a thanksgiving offering for his brother's salvation, he ought to come here. May God save him and redeem him from his spiritual troubles and straits. May God save him and redeem him from his spiritual troubles and straits. Anyone who genuinely pays attention to his ultimate purpose will realize that this is a full redemption which far surpasses the one that his brother had. The real compassion is to instill true understanding in one's soul, to know well in one's heart every day that, that the Lord is God, and in fulfillment of the verse, know today and place it upon your heart that the Lord is God until he merits through this understanding to overcome all his sins and blemishes. They are the real burden and exile. God save us. Fortunate is he who illuminates this knowledge within his weak impoverished soul supports it and sustains it with the cures that he already knows and travels with his infirm soul to the true leaders to the true healers and doctors who know how to cure it they practice their craft and truth and are truly expert in it applying an, aw an awesome and extremely deep understanding according to the season the time and so on may God sustain him and all of us until we are worthy of truly being, uh, being as he wishes us to be Umayn may be his will and us in the same Send greetings to my learned and distinguished friend, the holy fruit of Nachman, may his light shine, grandson of a master teacher, and Abba of sainted memory. Read this letter of mine with him and tell him that these words were meant for him too. There was no there was no need to write them twice. Encourage him to hear at least this coming Hanukkah. In addition to this, I will send him words of truth orally through the Nachman that will. Letter 327, when thanks to God, Wednesday told us, 5601, warm greetings to my honored, dear and beloved son, learned that the may he live along with all his children, may he live, I received your letter today, and I was pleased, I was particularly pleased to hear you are applying yourself to the Rebbe's holy books, this is my reward for all my labor that I have merited to begin, fulfilling a little of, tell them to your children and your children's children, who that I might, would that I might fulfill this completely in accordance with the Rebbe's good desire, fortify yourself determinately, my son, to add to your prayer and good deeds every day, Joy in God should be your stronghold. Gird yourself to be happy any way you can, because this is the most important thing of all. I received the notes, and I was pleased that at least some word has begun to reach me from there. At the moment, it is impossible to send any more letters there, and we will just have to wait a few more days. Perhaps some good news will arrive from there. Then I will consider how to proceed, and all will be in accordance with God's plan. I know already that in all matters, great or small, whether concerning body, soul, or money, we have no one to lean on but our Father in Heaven, especially in a matter such as this. With all that is involved, the master of salvation whose thoughts extend from generation to generation has started the matter, and he will finish it for the best. We do not know what to do, but our eyes look to you. The words of your father waiting for salvation, that Muslim of blessedness. Not one, letter 328, but thanks to God, Sunday night, the 8th day. 6601, my dear beloved son, I received your letters, one of them through Reb David, along with the, that precious letter from above, which I have waited and hoped for so much. Thank God who has helped us thus far. May He continue to have mercy on us, and may He help us for His name's sake to finish this project completely in accordance with His will and with all those who fear Him. Today as well, I received a letter from you, from you along with the ten gold coins. They arrived at just the right time too, because my house is empty at the moment. I just depend on God every day, and in His wondrous kindness, I am certain that He will not abandon me. I also received the puddle, small container, puddle, small container, and the seal, and I am pleased with both of them. May God repay your deed and give you full reward by allowing you to hold vigil at the doors of Torah study in God's service and happiness and joy forever. How I cherish it when, whenever you write me that you are inspiring yourself with the Rebbe's holy books. This is what I desire. Study them over and over. Even beyond what you wrote, they inspire and give life to your person tremendously, both in revealed ways and in ways that we cannot perceive. It is beyond all calculation. If only we could get together many times a year for some times. When I am not expecting it, God helps me speak and I say wonders, awesome things which are vital to the life and sustenance of the soul. How I long for you to be able to hear them too. But nonetheless, it is very good that you long for the truth from there, and especially that you inspire yourself with Rebbe's holy books, which contain every every eternal good for every person in the world, on every on any level and at any time. Shreino, how fortunate are we that we merited to elicit in our times awesome Torah teachings such as these, which are our entire hope and existence now. May God finish for us for, the best, for us for the best. The words of your Father sending greetings to you, 
to your learned person and praying for you. Nasim of blessed, Nasim of blessed greetings to all our comrades. Three, lesson, uh, letter 329 with thanks to God. Sunday, Vayishlach. 5601, my dear beloved son, I received your letter with the one silver ruble. It, is, it certainly did arrive at just the right time, thank God. I do not have your proof of the small coin in the house, but God repay your deed. Nonetheless, it is hard for me to accept money from you so often because it weighs upon me that you give me more than you can afford. I do not know I do not know myself what to write you about this. God willing, when you are here, perhaps we will be able to talk about this in a way that will enable you to locate the point of truth in all areas, to truly do what God wants. And the the deliverer the the deliverer of this letter is in a rush, so I cannot write very much, especially not about a matter such as this, in which I myself do not know what to advise you. In the meantime, do not allow this to distract you, because no matter what, it is undoubtedly better than all else. May God see your pure, it is undoubtedly better than all else. May God see your pure intention, save you in all that you need to be saved, and rectify all that you lack, both in the physical and the spiritual. The words of your Father, and us in the rest of letter 330, Sunday of the Asia, 5601, my dear son. I received your letter just now, along with a note from the Yaakov Hertz, and I was pleased. There is nothing to tell you. The holy days of Hanukkah are approaching, and I hope to God that we will be able to get together and talk face to face. May God allow us to receive the holiness of Hanukkah and to draw holy speech upon ourselves, our descendants, and all the generations of your people, Israel. The words of your Father, and us in the rest live. Letter 331, with thanks to God, Sunday, the last day of Hanukkah, 5601. My dear son, I received your letter just now with the gold, two gold pieces, and I am extremely busy. You can understand for yourself how greatly pained I was by your letter. Your pain is my pain, and your distress is mine. May God have compassion, and quickly great and grand salvation. May God have compassion, may God have compassion, and quickly grant salvation. I can also understand from afar what you wrote in your letter, that your troubles could fill many pages. Indeed, I know your pain. But God supplied us with the remedy in advance for the blow, and that we merited to know about a trustworthy doctor such as the Rebbe. May God grant you and all of us complete physical and spiritual healing, and may He awaken, and may He awaken His compassion upon you, dear son. May He quickly set him in complete recovery, body and soul, from heaven among all the other infirm of Israel. My mind is not at all lucid right now, so it is really impossible for me to continue. I hope to God that I will soon hear good news about your son. May he live for, for many long, good years to come. Amen. May it be His will. The words of your Father praying for you and waiting for salvation. Thus and rest. Do not forget God is great and we know nothing at all. Do not forget God is great and we know nothing at all. That's the letter 332 with God. With thanks to God. Wednesday, Vigash, 5601. My dear beloved son, I received your letter just now and I was pleased. Just the moment before, I was very much hoping to receive your letter. I hope to God that He will quickly save you and send a complete recovery to your son. May He live in the meantime. Fortify yourself mightily and keep yourself joyful any way you can. You have seen for yourself many times that God is constantly saving. He does not deal with us as our sins will dictate. God forbid. Hope to God and He will save you. Hope to God and He will save you. The, the deliverer of this letter is in a hurry so I cannot go on. The words of your father, nothing to the best of you. Nah, 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 nah. Mama, yeah.